take a look at this problem. We've got uh, negative 6 times negative 14 over 20. Now first off, I know right from the very beginning a negative times a negative is a positive, so I can drop those negatives. And the 6, I'm going to write it in fraction form, because if I'm going to multiply fractions, it's helpful if they're both fractions. Okay. Now our first step is you, you simplify. The guideline is uh, uh, one's got to be on top, one's got to be on the bottom, and they got divisible by the same number. Uh, well, I can divide uh, 2 into 6 and 20. So let's work with those two. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So we got uh, 3 over 1 times 14 over 10. And I see I got 14 and 10. These are both divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we got 3 over 1 times. 7 over 5. 3 and 5, nothing nothing there. 7, 5, nothing there. Looks like that's uh, as much as I can uh, simplify. So our second step is to multiply the top parts together. 3 times 7 gives you 21. Multiply the bottom parts together. 1 times 5 gives you 5. So our answer is 21 fifths. Now let's take a look at this on the calculator. Okay, we've got negative 6. Now, negative is the one on the very bottom row here. So I do negative 6 times negative 14 over 20. So I do negative 14 divided by 20. Enter, and then math, enter, enter. And we get our 21 fifths. So 21 fifths is our answer. 